Please remember that the complete information for the class that you are about to view is at elithecomputerguy.com. Not only do we have our videos there, but we have part lists, diagrams, pictures, and even complete code examples. So if you are watching this video and you want more information, please go to elithecomputerguy.com. Welcome back. As you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, and in today's class, I'm going to be showing you how to use div tags and adding borders to div tags using CSS. So div tags and borders with div tags can be useful when you're creating a web page or your web application, basically to create sections of your page that are all tied together. Probably the best example would be to be something like a coupon. So imagine if you wanted to create a coupon where people could print that out and basically, you know, cut it out and bring it in. In, you could use a div tag and basically with a div tag and with a dotted or dashed border you can have a border around all of the information within that div tag so you could have an h1 title you could have p uh, talking about what the coupon allows you to do you could have an image so on and so forth so basically when you're dealing with div tags div tags are ways to basically connect uh, a bunch of different information together within your HTML web page and say this all goes together and since it's all grouped together then you can do things such as add background colors to that that div tag you can add borders to that div tag so on and so forth so that's what I'm going to be explaining to you today Please do remember while you're watching this video that there are more things you can do with div tags than what I'm showing you in this particular video. Again, one of the issues that I run into as an educator is the whole question of how do I teach you enough so that you can learn how to do other things, but not so much. It becomes bloated and everything kind of goes out your ears. Uh, this becomes a problem when you're dealing with things like CSS because there are so many options. There are so many properties. There's so many values. There are so many different ways you can try to accomplish anything that if I try to explain everything to you, I would just be doing a dump of, of, of information and at the end of it, you wouldn't actually remember any of it. So what I'm going to be showing you how to do today is rather simple. So again, I'm going to be using the div tag. We're going to be putting borders around uh, different uh, divs. Uh, and then at the end of it, I'm going to show you how to create like a coupon. So basically, we're going to size the div. We're going to put a background color of the div. We're going to do the little radius borders on the div, the whole nine yards. And so basically what I'm showing you today is these are the different types of things that you can do with a div tag using CSS. If you want to do something more complicated with your particular project, again, go out and do a Google search. So with that, let's go over to the computer and I can show you how the div tags and the borders in CSS work. So here we are at my MacBook Pro. This is my demonstration system. Again, I'm using text edit to write all of this, a basic ASCII text editor. If you're in the Windows world, you can use Notepad. Again, the Mac world, you can use text edit. If you're in the Linux world, you can use Gedit, Vim, Nano, uh, whatever. Again, I'm using a basic ta basic ASCII text editor just to show you that that's all you need in order to write this stuff and start learning. Uh, past that, if you want to use an IDE, that is up to you. Uh, so here we have uh, basically the two documents that are going to be required for today particular project uh, we have a div border.html so basically I wrote all of this uh, in text edit then I simply titled it .html so again for a web browser it has to be .htm or .html uh, and then I have a style sheet I just simply call this border style .css so the first thing that I want to do is just run through the HTML document uh, rather quickly uh, because there's basically just a lot of duplication here I'm showing you multiple different examples of borders and so basically I just just have a div tag that I copy and pasted a couple of times and then modified uh, what class uh, that those div tags we're going to use. So let me just run through this real quick. So the first thing is, of course, we're going to open up the HTML, we're going to open up the head, and then we are going to link to the style sheet. So link relation uh, style sheet href equals, and so this is where you put with the style sheet you're going to be referencing. So border style.css. Again, if the style sheet is not in the same directory, you would simply just have to put the folder path in order to get to it. Uh, we close this out. We then close the head. Then we're then going to go to the body. And basically, I'm just going to create a number of divs here and put breaks uh, to separate them. So this is going to be a div. This is going to be a class equals dotted. So within my CSS, so basically within my border style.css, I created something 
something for dot dotted, a class for dotted. So this class is going to equal dotted. Within this, we're going to have h1. You'll notice there's no other formatting other than normal text tags. h1, this is a dotted border. p, here are some more tests I put here to look pretty. Again, I just want you to see that all of this is contained within that div tag. Uh, and then I'm going to close the div tag. So the idea here is all of this will have a dotted border if, if I did not fat finger anything. I then do a break just to put a space between everything. I then go down to another div. This is going to be dashed. So class of dashed this is a dashed border here are some tests blah 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 close the div then we're going to go down here we're going to open a div this is going to be class solid so i created a class of solid this is a solid border then we're going to do a div class equals double this is a double border and then what i finally did down here is this one is a little bit more complicated but again all of the complication is actually in the style sheet itself um, that's the cool part about using the style sheet is by using a style sheet you can leave your html doc document relatively easy uh, to read and then if people are trying to figure out how the formatting works they can just then go over to the style sheet so this is a div class of coupon so with this coupon not only did I do a border but I did a border I did a radius I did a height I did a width I did a background I did all kinds of stuff but you can't see that here so then let's go over and actually take a look at the border style.css and see the different classes that I created so I simply created a class for dotted. Now again, uh, for the properties, for the values, um, you can name this class whatever you want. I simply named the class dotted just so I knew what it was. Uh, we're gonna open up with the squiggles. And then here, what we're going to do is we're gonna say border colon. And then we're going to say how thick we want the border. So we're gonna make this five pixels. We are going to make this border a dotted border. And then we're going to make the color, uh, border color black. So you do border colon how big you want the border, or basically how thick you want the border, what type of border, dotted, and then what color border, black. Then we come down here to dashed, border, five pixels, dashed, black. Then we come down here to solid, border, five pixels, solid, black. We come down here to double, so double is basically a double line. Uh, border, five pixels, again, double, black. So this could be red, green, blue, whatever else. Then we're gonna come down here to the coupon. So I created a class for coupon, again, to give you more of a practical example. For this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do border colon. It's gonna be five pixels, it's gonna be uh, dashed, and it's gonna be black basically like the other ones. Then you can also do something called a border radius. So what a border radius does, it is actually puts a curve on the, on the border. So basically it gives those rounded edges. And then here you put how many pixels, basically how big you want that rounded edge to be. I put that to 20 pixels. Then I did put a background color. So everything within the div, within, everything within the div tag, I wanted to have a background color. I just put gray as something to put there. Then for this, I put the div. So the div will then be a width of of 300 pixels, a height of 200 pixels, and then you can say what the margin is. So basically the margin is, is where should it sit in the page from left to right? And so if you put auto, basically this will auto cent center the, uh, the div, so it'll be in the center of the page. So this is what the CSS classes look like. If we then go over and we actually take a look at the page itself, this is now what we are looking at. So we have the div tag, so we have the div tag for dotted, and so we can see this is a dotted border. Here are some more, te uh, some more text I put here to look pretty, and as you can see, so all of this is within that dotted border, but you'll notice since I didn't put a height, since I didn't put a width, basically this dotted border goes all the way across across the page. So basically this whole thing is within that dotted border. Then we have this is a dashed border, same deal, dashed border across the page. This is a solid border, same deal, all the way across the page. And this is a double border, again, that gives you that double border thing right there, same deal across the page. So that is giving you a border for your div tag. Again, there may be any number of reasons you wanna do this. Again, just, just to make things look a little bit prettier. Then finally, I went down, I did something a little bit more complicated. Uh, and so this is where we have the dashed, we have the gray background, we have the radius here. So we have those rounded uh, edges. And then we have the, the height of 200 pixels, the width of 300 pixels, and the auto margin or the margin that puts it auto in the middle.
So again, this kind of gives you that example of how you could create, again, something like coupons on a page. Now, just to show you how easy everything is to modify. So if we go up here, again, this dotted class, and this could be named anything too. Uh, so the dotted class, let's say uh, we wanna make this 10 pixels and we wanna make it red. Like that's all we need to do for the color. Uh, for the dash, so let's make this, I don't know, 15 pixels, and we're gonna make this blue. Right, that's all you need to do. I simply do file, I do save. As soon as it's saved, it's basically live. I hit refresh and see now we have a red dotted border, 10 pixels. And if we go down here, we have a 15 pixel dashed border. That kind of gives you the example of what's going on there. As far as the radius is concerned, again, you have that little radius here. Basically the bigger the number, the, the larger the radius will be. So if I go down and let's say I do a 10 pixel radius, I do file, I do save, uh, I hit refresh. Now you'll see that that radius is much smaller than it was. Again, half the size of what it was. Uh, if I go here for the radius and I don't know, I do something ridiculous, it's probably gonna be too big. Let's say I do 40 pixels, I hit save and then I hit refresh. Now we can see that we have really, really, really large radius there. So that's basically how the radius works. Again, for all of these types of things, doing a basic Google search or taking a look at whatever your favorite reference is, you can just simply go in, again, just see what, what, you're, what you're able to do with the border, things like border radius, background color, width, height, margin, so on and so forth. But this gives you a basic idea of how the borders work with the div tags and some things that you can do with it. So now you've seen how you can group text, images, that type of thing together within a div tag uh, and then be able to add formatting to that div. Again, you can do the, the borders like I showed you. You can do a background color. You could do a, nor uh, a number of different things uh, depending on what your particular requirements are. So using a div tag is a very simple way to group everything together. And then again, like something like a border, simply adding that border around, border colon, and then again, how, how thick you want that border? Do you want it to be five pixels? Do you want it to be one pixel? Do you want it to be 50 pixels? I would re not recommend 50 pixels, but I guess you could do it, right? Do you want it to be solid? Do you want it to be dashed? Do you want it to be double? There are some other options out there, but these are the basic ones that I've shown you today. Again, to give you the idea of what you can do so that you can then go and learn more. Again, in the CSS world, there are just a tremendous number of options out there. If I tried to explain every single one to you, <laughs> It would take me like three hours just to do a class like this. And no, nobody would enjoy that. So, uh, so, so yeah. So again, with all of this, do make sure I'm not showing you everything. Do do additional research. Uh, so as always, I enjoyed doing this class and look forward to seeing you on the next one. If you like the content that I create, please think about going to elinethecomputerguy.com and becoming a member or donating. Please understand that all the educational videos are in front of the paywall. That includes the videos, that includes the notes, the diagrams, and the code example. All of that is freely available and in front of the paywall. But if you want to watch opinion videos or if you want to be able to comment, you do need to become a member. Membership is $5 a month or $60 a year and gives you access to those opinion videos and the ability uh, to comment. If you don't want to become a member, you just want to give a one-time uh, donation, there is also a donate button where you can do that. Please understand, in order to provide the education that I am, it does cost money. The servers cost money, equipment costs money, travel costs money. All of these things cost a reasonable amount of money. And the fact of the matter is, is YouTube's advertising program no longer supports creators the way that it used to. So if you want to these classes to continue to stick around and you find them to be valuable, please think about either becoming a monthly member or donating a few dollars for this project.